Unfortunately, many indigenous communities have higher rates of heart disease and diabetes. This is a very complex issue. And the reason why it's a complex one is it's because it's part of uh, the wider problem of the gap between Indigenous Australia and non-Indigenous Australia. To sort of look at this issue, I want to have a look at some of the main factors that, might, that are driving the increase in disease and also look at some possible solutions that could address uh, these issues. One reason why there are higher rates of disease is because Indigenous people are less likely to engage in healthcare. And the reason for this is because they do not trust healthcare. Their trust is something that is in the community, stretching all the way back to colonization. There's been a lot of terrible historical events that have created trauma uh, in the indigenous mind. And this means they're less likely uh, to engage in healthcare service, which, services, which means they're less likely going to be able to manage uh, these diseases. And so a solution here, a possible solution, is to regain that trust and build that trust between the healthcare system and the Indigenous people. This may mean engaging community leaders, uh, coming up with uh, better educational strategies, raising awareness, things like this. Another solution here is, and this is possibly the, the best solution, is to attract and train indigenous uh, medical health workers because these will be the best people who will be able to understand the indigenous people and who will be the most trustworthy. Another reason why indigenous people have higher rates of disease is because the healthcare system is inappropriate to their idea of health. For many years the healthcare system has been paternalistic. This means that uh, in a nutshell, sort of doctors have imposed their own idea of health and what it means to be healthy, which has come from uh, a Western idea of medicine, onto the Indigenous people, which Indigenous people do not like. And so a possible solution here is to retrain these doctors so that they better understand what the Indigenous mean when they say healthy. Because their idea of healthy and their conception of, of being healthy all is not just physical well-being, but also how one is connected to the land, how one has a spiritual relationship with uh, the wider members of their community, and how one engages in cultural practices. Another reason why heart disease and diabetes is higher in the indigenous communities is because they have less, less access to healthcare services. This is a big issue, especially in remote indigenous communities. The reason why they have poor access is because simply of geographical distance. There's, uh, some of them are hundreds of kilometers away from the nearest hospital. So that if they have a major cardiac event or if they need di a dialysis machine, they will not receive uh, adequate care. And so a solution here, a possible solution here is, um, I, again, part of the, the, the wider public health issue of rural health is to improve the access of healthcare services to these remote communities. What, and you know, for example, we can uh, increase technology, uh, technology service such as telehealth, uh, and we can also uh, send out more doctors to these communities. Another reason, uh, and possibly uh, the most important reason in terms of the wider issue of um, Indigenous Australians, uh, is the social determinants of health. We know that now that these that social and economic factors have a huge impact on one's health. A lot of these indigenous communities uh, have, in the community, uh, have lower. A lot of people have lower incomes. Uh, they've had less op uh, education opportunities, and they have had less job opportunities, and a bunch of other worse social uh, outcomes. This has contributed to living an unhealthy lifestyle and it's also very hard uh, to live healthily. And so to, to a possible solution here is to improve these social determinants. And this means uh, keeping up with JobKeeper payments, uh, improving housing, reducing crime, increasing employment uh, uh, prospects and improving the education of Indigenous children.